Okay, now we're going to be using AutoCAD 2020 and we're going to create our first part, part 19. It's in the tutorials that we've already done by hand drafting. But before we get started creating that part or any part, we need to create a border sheet. And a border sheet is something we're going to use over and over again. We don't have to draw it 10, 15 times every time we try to create a part. We're just going to draw it once, make a quick modification, and use it as part of our new drawings. So let's get started with that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my layers and I'll select that and double click it. So it brings up my layer manager. Now we have this one layer right here called layer zero. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer and on this new layer I'm going to call it one hyphen and I'm going to call this one paper. Actually I'm going to give it a yeah one P-A-P-E-R. That's the paper that I was going to be drawing this on like an A-size sheet. I'm going to go ahead and change that one to light gray. I'm just going to try to use most of the default colors you see right here. So I'll select that. Hit OK. Now, once I'm active on this layer, I'm going to lock the one above me. That's layer zero. We never draw on layer zero. It's just there when we need it. Um, so now what I'm going to do is create a new layer. And this one's going to be the sheet. I'm going to call this one two. And I'm going to say border sheet. Now that the reason I'm putting in the letters, uh, the numbers first, is that AutoCAD's layer schema, what it does is it sorts everything in alphabetical and, and chronological order. So that's why I'm using one, two, et cetera. So we got that, and we're going to go ahead and say on this one, we're going to say the color is, again, a basic color, uh, cyan. So we'll accept that. We'll create a new layer. I'm going to lock these two I just was on. Create a new layer back here. And we're going to call this one three. Whoops, got a nine there, three. And we're going to call this ortho part. Okay. And we're going to change that from uh, blue to our new color, which is going to be yellow. Accept that. And I'll lock the previous layer, go back to the ortho part, and I'll create another layer. And this one is going to be four, and we're going to say iso part. So this way you break everything up on layers. And in this one we're going to change the color to green. And accept that. And let's create one more layer. And we're going to call that one 5. And we're going to say dimensions. Okay. And I'm going to change that one. Since I've kind of run out of color, I definitely don't want to use blue or red. I'm going to come up here and select number 30, which is an index color for orange. So we'll select that and hit OK. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're going to close this. Now we'll come back out here and close it again. So there it is, it's gone. Okay, let's get started with doing our border. Let's make sure we're set to the border. And we'll come up here and make sure that that layer is active. In this case, you see it's a dark blue. Uh, and it means that it's active. Okay, so we'll click on that. We'll come over here to the rectangle tool. I can select that, there it is. I'm going to come over here and I'll start with this. I'm going to come out here, uh, let's say 11 inches. And I'll hit my tab key over to 8.5. Okay, so there's our border. Now, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and actually, that's the paper size right there. So I'll collapse that and collapse this. I'm going to drag this over so I can see a little bit better, zoom up on it. Now, you also notice that you've got, do a right mouse click, you've got the ability to pan, zoom, turn your steering wheels on, that kind of thing. We'll probably use that uh, quite a bit. So now we've got the border sheet uh, paper drawn. Now let's go draw the border sheet. So I'll go ahead and select border sheet. I'll come back over here and lock that one, unlock border sheet, and let's start drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and before I get started, let's make sure I got that unlocked again on the sheet, because I'm going to cheat a little bit. So let's do that. Okay, so we're going to go back to border sheet, and this time I'm going to draw a uh, rectangle. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to the... Uh, offset command and it says specify an offset distance. Well I'm going to say point uh, seven five. Okay. Actually I'm going to make that point five. Point five. Okay. And I'm going to select this and it's going to come in and do that at point five. Alright that's good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to um, lock this layer Come back and set myself to this one, and I'm going to draw another rectangle. From here down to the one I already drew, just so I drew over the top of it. That's good. I'm going to lock it, 
Okay, then I'm going to go back to this layer and I'm going to unlock it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is turn the light bulb off so I don't see it on the border sheet layer. And I'm going to get this inside one right there. Select it, hit my erase command, and it's gone. So now we'll lock it again. Actually select this one to be border sheet. Yep, I know. Keep, uh, keep turn layer on. Okay, we'll come down and set ourselves to border sheet. We're there. We're going to unlock it. Okay, we're going to come back up here to the paper layer and we're going to lock that one. So we're back on this guy and we're good to go. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and check my locks, uh, my object snaps here. And right now I want you to set from 90 or 45, set it down to 30, 60, 90. Make sure you got that one selected. Let's come over here and look at our uh, object snaps. And let's make sure we got all these set. We got endpoint, midpoint, center, uh, geometric center, node, quadrant, intersection, uh, extension, uh, insertion, perpendicular, and tangent. I don't ever use uh, nearest. It seems to cause me some problems, but definitely have from tangent all the way up selected. Okay, let's get back out of that. Now, we're going to come over here and we're going to hit the place line command. And we're going to come over here and find the midpoint. And we're going to come up here. Uh, let's go up here. Uh, I'm going to say 0.5. Okay. And I'm going to come over here this way to this side and just intersect that. Click on that. And that's good. Hit escape. Uh, I think I like what I see here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and quickly save my file. And let's give this file a name. We're going to call this one uh, ortho hyphen iso hyphen border sheet and I'll give it a version of 001 because I may come back and change that later let's accept that okay it looks pretty good now what we're going to do is place some text and this can get a little complicated because we're using full AutoCAD it's got a lot of functionality in it but what we're going to do is we're going to come up and we're going to select um, single line text and then we're going to come over and select annotation and we're going to go to standard now come down here I want you to go to annotation standard select on managing styles and I want you to select uh, this font right here we want to go down to where it says dim dim we're going to use a standard AutoCAD native font we're going to use dim.shx we're going to select that we're going to set a height of 0.1875 and a width factor here of 0.625 okay so 3 eighths for the height and a width factor of uh, 0.65 it may be a little wide we're gonna give it a shot we'll see if it does if I've got this wrong I'll come back and change it Hit close and we're gonna come back out here and we're gonna hit our space bar and okay that's all good let's cancel that go back to text here and single line and I'm gonna start right here and I'm going to come over here and say that's where I want to be and I'm going to start writing this. Now I'm going to use an abbreviation of my name. I'm going to say always in capital R P L A T T space and I'm going to say part space 19 space uh, and I'm going to give it a scale of I'm going to say scale equal one half inch I'm going to use a semicolon I'm going to say space on that one inch. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to hit enter. Oops, didn't need to do that. Hit my click up here. So there's my text. That pretty well fits inside the uh, pretty well fits inside the the text block here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to the move command. I'm going to select that text. Whoops, let's get out of that command first. Go up here and select move. Click on this. Accept that object. I'm going to select the base point and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click out to about, ooh, I want to say about right there. Let's take a look at that. I probably need to go to the left a little bit. Hit my space, uh, my space bar again. Select the object. Click my uh, anchor point. I'm going to come out here about this far. Yeah, that looks pretty centered up. Now I'm going to bring it up a little higher. So hit my space bar again. Grab the object, accept it, and then I'm going to come up to about right there. That looks nice. Okay, let's make sure that layer is turned back off here. Just like that again. 
All right, uh, let's do right mouse click. Uh, let's do zoom, and we're gonna zoom out. Show me a box around that. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, move that over. Okay, well, we've drawn ourselves a border sheet. Now, what we want to do before we go any further is we want to go ahead and lock that border sheet. Actually, let's select the next layer. We're gonna come back up here. We're gonna lock this one. I hope we're gonna lock it. Let's do that. Back to this guy. Okay, border sheet is locked. That's good. Uh, okay, go to ortho. I'm sorry. Pull down. Lock border sheet. Okay, I'm doing something wrong here. So let me figure this out. Escape. Select that layer. Lock that one. Ah, I had to click on the lock instead of the actual layer. My bad. All right, that's good. So let's go ahead and save our file. Let's do a Control S to save our file, or hit the Save button up here, and we're good for now. And we're going to go ahead and start drawing Part 19. So let's go ahead and get out of this and uh, get on to Part 19. Mm -hmm.